You have, Tom Garrett, some breaking news for us, something that will be released and mentioned here before anywhere else. The general public will get it tomorrow. And it's it's around the uh, topic of immigration. Of course, we have been covering that topic uh, almost nonstop during my time on the air here. And I think it's critically important for Virginia. Tell us the news that you have for us today. Well, you know, an idea doesn't have to be original to be good. Back in 2007 in Prince William County, Corey Stewart on the Board of Supervisors led a charge to essentially allow law enforcement, once there's probable cause that a crime has been committed and reasonable suspicion that someone's not here illegally, uh, to determine their immigration status and help the federal government enforce their laws. Later on, Jan Brewer in Arizona did the same thing. Obviously, that's tied up in litigation right now. And then last month, the state of Alabama did something mm -hmm. very similar. Uh, in Virginia, Prince William County was before Arizona or before Alabama, and then Rockingham County followed on. Uh, we're trying to be, and so far are, the only candidate in our race for the 22nd Senate nomination with any specifics at all. We came out with an idea a couple of weeks back that if you're going to receive TANF for welfare benefits, you should be drug tested. You know, if you want to break the cycle of addiction first, or break the cycle of poverty first, break the cycle of addiction. Uh, and so we are proposing tomorrow that if we're elected, that we would either carry or co-patron legislation that would enact uh, Alabama-style, Arizona-style, Prince William County-style immigration reform in the Commonwealth of Virginia would additionally require E-Verify be used for employers. Uh, my proposal would be that, the, that that be a tax deduction for those businesses mm -hmm. so that ultimately, because frankly, if you look at core essential functions of government, it's a core, national security is a core essential function of government. And so, therefore, uh, we shouldn't saddle the employers with the burden, although I'll tell you the costs really aren't that bad. We've done some research. So that's something we're going to come out with an initiative on tomorrow, and happy to have it here first on your show, Rob. I appreciate it very much. You know, in talking to Corey Stewart, one of his great frustrations was, where are we going to find somebody to stand up and support this thing? Because anytime anyone does, oh, you're a racist, you know, you've got all these uh, names called at you and attacks immediately from some of these uh, special interest groups, and we've seen it happen time and time again. So I'm glad that you're coming out with this, not waiting to be elected and then putting your finger in the air to see if, hey, this is going to fly, but actually saying, this is something I'm going to do if you elect me. I think it's a very strong stance.